Hi. I'd like to talk to you today about um, NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming. This is vlog two of a 10 vlog series. I'm going to do 10 vlogs on what I have a passion about and an interest in skills. And NLP has been a passion for about four years now. And it's, it's a bit of a mouthful, Neuro Linguistic Programming. But before I end today, I'm going to go through a process where you can access instant confidence. And just to explain a bit more about what Neuro Linguistic Program is, I mean, it has got a vast, a vast amount of information. But I'll try and break it down from the basics. The basics, we have five senses. Smell, touch, sound, and, and hearing. And what happens is, as we go through our life, we take in the senses. We use our five senses and we take in this information. And taking in this information, it builds our experience of life. And when we have this experience of life, we, we come across things and we interpret things. But we find that they're, they're not the same as ours because our interpretation is different. And a way to explain a different interpretation is two people going down the same roller coaster. And they go down this roller coaster. When they get to the bottom, there's a newsreel. They put the mic, how was that? Fantastic, oh, what? It got my heart pumping, brilliant. I, I feel so alive, invigorated. I can't wait to do that again. Great. And then they interview the next person. Never again. Oh, my, my stomach, oh, I'm gonna be sick. Never again, that was absolutely the worst experience of my life. And that's how we go through life. Different things for different people. And NLP taps into how you can feel. How would it be if you could feel whatever you wanted? Rather than let life happen to you, you can be the conductor of your own life. The, the programming of, of NLP is language. The conductor of your life is a thought. Whenever you have a thought, it can come with a feeling and then an action. So the, the thought is the, the, the main thing and your thought comes from your experiences. And some of the thoughts that in general of, of how people have are so um, against who they are. And to explain this, the, 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 the way to talk to yourself, self-talk, when you say things like, I can't, and if I was working with you, I would say, what would happen if you could? And it gives it that opportunity of opening it up a bit. But if you say, I can't, what have you just said yet, if you can't yet? It makes it a bit looser, a bit lighter, a bit more accessible. And there's a language where, there's a condensing language where I should. You know, if you should, you need, you must. Then if you don't do it, you're going to have some feelings that are going to manifest. And those feelings are going to be uncomfortable because it turns into a thing called regret. Because if you didn't, then you should have, and you could have. And this is a language that, that we have with ourselves, an internal dialogue. And you can open up this dialogue to, to, to ask yourself questions. You know, how important is it? If something's important, then put attention and time into it. 
What's the worst thing that can happen? What's the best thing that can happen? Is more moving towards something that's that's rewarding rather than moving away from something that's that's painful and and, and uneventful and, and, and not so uh, so nourishing. So there's a, there's a language that the NLP creates that that's um, that enhances your life tremendously. And one of the, the things that I walked away from after doing a course on it, if something doesn't work, try something else. And actually the word try is a bit of a bit of a red herring. Because if I try to shut the door, I'm not actually shutting the door. So it, it, it comes into um, say what you mean and mean what you say. You end up planning your life. And when you plan your life, you plan your life with flexibility. Because planning your life for, for tomorrow, you can make a plan, but you don't really know how it's going to fit in because other people have got their plans. But you can be flexible with it. So let me get to the the point of uh, what I wanted to do. I want to um, give you this technique that you can take away today and you can use it any time, at any place that you want, and it will give you confidence. It won't give you confidence in a, 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 a polyanarism, um, sound of music confidence. It will give you confidence from a personal experience that you're going to reignite and take with you. So what I'd like you to do, I'd like to get back through your life's history, I'd like you to find one thing that you achieved, something that you put effort and time into, something that you were so proud that, that you were bursting, you were absolutely bursting. So go back through your life and think of that one thing whatever that is, I don't have to know about it. I just want you to access that one thing that made you, wow, that was great, fantastic. And you were so proud of yourself. So once you go through and you find that, that particular thing for you, now I want you to Go back inside that incident, wherever it was. I want you to go back into the, the actual day. Now focus, go back into the actual day. Remember what day it was, what clothes you were wearing, what smells were there, what sounds were around you, who was there, the actual event. Go right into the actual event and go through the event. And if it was a long event, condense it into a few seconds. Go back into that event and feel the emotions that you felt, the internal feelings. That's it. Go back right into it. See what you've seen, hear what you heard. All the smells. And then, who, who did you tell about it? You know, you must have told someone. You're so excited. You, you, you accomplished this achievement. And you're, going to t you're on the phone, the emails. And maybe it was a long time ago before the internet. But you've actually told people about it. Now, having accessed that state, and that's what it's called. It's called a state, a state of being. You now feel something. You now feel that event. And when you feel that event, I want you to get that feeling. Whatever it is in your body, some maybe that feeling's in your heart, maybe it's in your shoulder, maybe it's maybe it's in your head. But I want you to get that feeling. And I want you to get the feeling and I, and I want you to look at the feeling. Has it got a colour? Has it got a shape? And I want you to get the feeling. And I want you to put it somewhere. 
wherever it is in your body, I want you to transfer it all the way down just below your belly button into your gut, into your solar plexus. I want you to put that feeling down there and we're transferring that feeling of all those emotions condensed into the feeling in your body and we're putting it down into your gut and then we're doing a mental thought into putting it there. So once you've got it there, we're going to spin it and we're going to spin it clockwise. So you ready? So that feeling's down there in your gut. I want you to spin that feeling and it's beautiful that feeling. That feeling is intensely wonderful. This is one of the greatest achievements you've ever had in your life. And I want you to spin it and spin it round and spin it so fast and, and, and it's absolutely tremendous. Fantastic. And I want you to get your fist. I want you to make a fist and clench your fist. And as this feeling is going round, it's got, and it, I want you to double the experience of the joy and the, and the happiness and the euphoria. I want you to double that experience. And as it's going round, it's going faster. Now it's like a washing machine. And it's so, it's so wonderful, but it's spinning round and round and round. And when I say three, I want you just to, to let that feeling resonate all the way through your body, through your, to your toes, to the top of your head. And at the same time, I want you to release your fist. So you're ready? One, two, three, and just let go. And let that feeling just go all the way through your body. And it should feel absolutely marvelous. And if it hasn't, try it again. And this is a wonderful thing for going into an interview. If you could find a quiet moment just before you go into an interview, it works a treat. Me personally, I use it when I was doing a course for coaching. I went inside it in a, a meditation in the morning in the hotel and went through all the, they're called submodalities, went through all the submodalities of the feelings and the who is there and the, the different things and um, it's absolutely um, accessible. If you want to access it, try this, just do this later on today. And because that action is connected with that feeling, there'll be a connection there. You'll have that feeling of confidence and euphoria. And if you can do that with confidence, think of other things in your life you would like to access. It's wonderful. Um, I'm going to do another blog tomorrow. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, Manuel Neil Kerr. This was vlog number two. And if you get any comments, what you liked, what you didn't like, what I can improve on, please do so. Thank you very much. Bye for now.